guys, you're watching Bella TV. I'm Avanti, and we're here at Mr. Jones in Soho celebrating Jillian Michael's amazing cover. Hi, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, no, thank you for having me. You look beautiful on the cover. I love how natural, like, you look like you just woke up glowing. Oh, yes, that's me. I, <laughs> I don't think I've ever woke up glowing in my entire life, but I love you for saying that. So what is one fitness tip that you would give to all of our Bella viewers? Mm, gosh, I honestly would say variety. I, I would say that variety is key because they always think there's one thing, right? One workout, one way, and there isn't. The key is to keep your body constantly adapting to stress and exercise is stress. So by changing the stimulus constantly, you're continuing to force your body to adapt to it and get stronger and fitter. Okay, and how often do you think we should, everyone should work out in a week? No longer than six hours and no less than two, four half hours a week. Okay, so that's not that much. That's pretty doable. It should be, right? Yeah. If you're managing what you're eating, it should be manageable. And you have this new fitness app, My Fitness by Jillian Michaels. Does this mean we can all work out with you at home? I would hope so. Yeah, no, that, that is the whole idea is if, you, if you're a fan of mine, then it's, it's for you. If you're not, it's not for you. <laughs> it allows me to essentially be your personal trainer and it has customized meal plans and personalized workout programs and has like a thousand different exercises and you literally tell me, what you need, what you want, what your goals are, what you like, what you don't, and then it puts the whole thing together for you. That's amazing. It's like having you at home. I, Literally, I yeah. have to try that. That's the hope. Thank you. And um, Bella's motto is beauty defined by you. I like it. How would you define beauty? God, that's a great question. I mean, physically, I would say health. Is, is beautiful. Being healthy is important. And I, I mean, literally, like, doesn't matter what size your thighs are. It matters what your cholesterol numbers are. Like, being around for your kids, being around for your significant other, like, that to me is really important. Um, and then I would say beauty, kindness. Kindness is beautiful. And do you have a favorite cheat meal? Red wine is my favorite cheat food. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if that counts, but oh, I'll allow it. I'll oh, allow trust it. me. It counts, yeah. All right, we're here with Dr. Demesman. He is another. Hi. He is another sponsor for our Bella, and we're so happy to have you here. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for being here. I love Bella. I love the event, and it's a pleasure. Um, so he specializes in minimally invasive procedures. Can you tell us a little bit about what you do and what your specialties are? Yeah. So. I do what we call minimum invasive spine surgery. So patients with back pain, a disc herniation, we provide an alternative way where we can fix the problem without a big operation. So it's like doing a lot of small procedures where we can fix things without compromising the patient's health and back. So, But overall, like I love this event, I love fashion. I'm here to help people, and I appreciate being a part of this event. We're here with Genesis Fertility. Their clinics are in Brooklyn, and we're going to see what, what's going on. Hi. How are you? I'm good. So, tell us a little bit about what you specialize in at Genesis. We see you have all these cute little eggs over here. Yeah, so we have little eggs, so to kind of promote the egg freezing, the Easter holiday is coming up, so eggs are totally a part of it. Um, we do try to tell women who are under the age of 35 to start thinking about egg freezing. Um, a lot of celebrities, they wait until like they're a little older or they're older to have children and people think that they could wait indefinitely, which is not true. Um, so they should definitely think about it sooner rather than later and, uh, you know, keep it on their mind. And do you see any changing trends in this industry right now? Well, I, I think in general, um, women are more aware of their fertility, whereas before, you know, they, they just didn't know a lot, you know, that would really be important to them, you know. So we have, uh, you know, there are many reasons why sometimes somebody might have difficulty getting pregnant. So I think the fact that they're asking more questions, they're being more proactive in their fertility health, you know, all of those are really good things. Hope you enjoyed the party. I'll see you soon on Bella TV.